What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today we're having a little competition, a little showdown if you will, between two of my very, very favorite products from Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line. I'm so excited to put these products head to head to see which one you guys think comes out in the lead. So first off, before we even get started, I want you guys to leave me a comment and let me know which side of my hair you think looks better. Just go ahead. Take a little gander real quick. Take a little look-see. Second, please ignore the Band-Aid on my face. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have known I have a self-inflicted wound. I'm not gonna go into the story of how this happened, but if you're not following me on Instagram, then you're missing out on some of the most fun, exciting, and embarrassing moments of my life. So go ahead, give me a little follow if you wanna see the crazy behind the scenes of my life. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down there and make sure to hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into this hoedown showdown between my two favorite products. Today I am putting head to head the Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse from Not Your Mother's Curl Talk line against this right here, the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. These are two products that I have used separately on their own and I love both of them for different reasons. I have not used mousse on my hair in quite some time. I just don't reach for mousse as much as I should. I, I don't know, I don't know why I don't. I've gotten several messages over the last few weeks from people telling me to use a mousse on my hair and see what I think. I haven't really tested out a ton of curly hair mousses, so if you have a favorite mousse for your curly hair, please leave it in the comments. I would love to see what suggestions you guys have. I'm not very cultured when it comes to the mousse products, but I do know that this one works really well because I have used it in the past. And of course you guys know, I just said it in my last video, I am a gel girl. I love gel because it definitely gives my hair the hold that it needs. It gives my hair definition. And so I decided to put these two head to head. Make sure to let me know what other products you wanna see go head to head. Drugstore versus high end or drugstore versus drugstore or products within the same line. You guys let me know. I don't ever do a middle part. So I want to also see what you guys think. Do you think that I can really rock the middle part or are you like, no, go back to your other way of styling? But doing a middle part was really the only way to give these products their fair chance and really get to see the results as good as possible. So let me know if you guys think that a middle part is for me. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on into the tutorial so I can show you exactly how I applied these products and how they worked. Going head to head today, we have the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Mousse against the Curl Talk Sculpting Gel. First and foremost, I wanted to detangle my hair, so I went in with the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This gives the hair UV protection, which is super important during the summer, as well as conditioning the hair, helping to detangle as well. Then I'm going in trying to figure out this whole middle part situation because I'm not used to that. I did go in with the Curl Talk Defining Cream first on both sides of the hair because I needed a little extra moisture just because my hair has been drier since it's summertime. So went in with that and then with my Be Hairful brush, I just distributed that throughout the hair. This side, we're going in with the gel and I always do this in sections. So I'm just sectioning off that. And of course that was a fail. So I had to resection the hair and just going in with the gel section by section, I smooth it in, rake it in. And then I use my Be Hairful brush to distribute the product. And this also helps to clump my curls. I am obsessed with this brush. I feel like I say this in every video now, but I do, I just love it. Um, and then I just continued the same exact process with the rest of this side of my hair. I do wanna mention that this is a flexible firm hold gel out of a level five. This is a level three hold. It's an anti-frizz flexible hold for a uh, flake free result. And this is a gel that I've typically used in the past and I love and adore. One downfall of this gel is that it does contain glycerin. So because I live in a very, very humid climate, this gel is probably not gonna hold up during the summer months. This is definitely a gel that I would reserve for winter and fall months. 
And of course, you guys already know I had to go in with my hair repair towel to scrunch out any excess product, any excess water. Now going in with the defining cream on the other side. This is just for moisture. I added just the slightest, slightest amount to give my hair that extra moisture boost using my Be Hairful brush to just distribute that throughout the hair. And then on this side, we are going in with the Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse by Not Your Mother's. And because I am not used to using mousses very often, I quickly realized that a little bit goes a long way because it actually grows in the hand. So I definitely could have used a little bit less of this product, but hey, I'm just doing the same exact thing that I did with the gel product. I just could have used probably a little bit less. Once again, going in with my Be Hairful brush to distribute the product and then just scrunching each section as I go. Of course, doing the same exact thing over and over again until I'm done with this section. The Curl Activating Mousse out of a level five hold is a level two, which I typically wouldn't reach for because I do like a lot of hold in my hair. Um, this is supposed to give you soft, touchable hold for your curls. It's supposed to give shine and definition and gives humidity protection for frizz-free curls. So the great thing about this mousse is that it is glycerin free. So it is great for humid climates. So I really love that about this product. And here is what it looks like with the hair still wet coated with product. This is the mousse side versus the gel side right here. So let me know if you see a difference while it's wet. And now it's completely dry, but not fluff. This is the mousse side. And then this is the gel side. Again, let me know if you guys see a difference. I definitely do. This is again the mousse and then the gel. And now I have scrunched out any crunch as well as kind of fluffed out my roots. And here are the final results. So this is the mousse side versus the gel side i definitely see a huge difference here i can't wait to see what you guys think again the mousse side and sorry i was singing to a great song <laughs> and then the gel side so i definitely see like a big big difference but i can't wait to see what you guys thoughts are on this so in my opinion the mousse against the gel the mousse comes out ahead i just feel like i got better results with the mousse these are my final results and these are day one results as well first and foremost i will say i do like both sides given that this is day one hair because normally i have zero volume for day one these are products that i love and i'm familiar with so i didn't expect to not get decent results you know but there are a few things that i would like to note first is that the mousse side definitely dried much much quicker than the gel side this side dried probably 30 percent quicker than the gel side second i definitely feel like i've got more frizz on the gel side i'm not sure what that's all about i feel like this did not clump as well even though i literally styled it the same exact way this side didn't clump as well and it just didn't give as good of definition as the mousse side and i do want to note that the mousse has a level two hold and the gel has a level three hold so it's pretty crazy to me because the mousse side actually gave me a better cast than the gel side as well which is really odd to me because i really always go for gel because of the hold that it gives me is it just me or is the mousse side much shinier than the gel side as well i definitely feel like the mousse just gave me better results overall it didn't give me quite as much volume i feel like I could continue to get a little more volume out of the gel side if I wanted to, but this is pretty much as big as the uh, mousse side was going to get for day one, which I'm totally fine with. I still feel like this is great volume for day one, and I definitely feel like on day two and three that I'll have much more volume. I do feel like I got more volume with the gel side on day one. Honestly, I feel like with these two products, it's really a personal preference would you rather have more definition which i feel like the mousse gives me 
or would you rather have more volume, which I feel like the gel gave me. This side feels a little softer, a little airier, even though it is a level three hold versus the mousse, which is a level two. And this, like, I still have a little bit of crunch to this side. I definitely need to start using this mousse way more often. I feel like this product is an underrated product. I don't hear many people talk about this. I really don't hear many curly girls talking about mousse products. If you have a mousse that's a holy grail of yours, please, please let me know. And that is it for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know which side you think did better and if you guys think I should start doing the middle part more often. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.